I'd like my computer to automatically turn on in the presence of a cup of coffee. You know, so it can wake up every morning just like you and me. And since we already have our coffee poured, the next task on our to-do list, which is saved in my glasses, is to build a coffee-powered PC power button. Now, there's a few different ways we could go about this, including a pressure plate system, so when the cup was on it, it turned on the PC, or even a laser-based system, so when the cup was placed in between the lasers, it would turn on. But for both of those, you don't really need coffee. It could just be the cup. So how could you use something like the heat of the coffee to actually turn on the computer? Hmm, as our glasses suggest, we could use a thermoelectric generator, but that's a little intense. But the idea of turning heat into electrical signal is pretty interesting. Maybe something like a thermo activated momentary switch. Ah, yeah, I think that's going to be the ticket here. We can grab one of those along with some extra wires, strip off each end, and then take it over to the soldering table to combine each side together. Hey, even what's the typical temperature of a cup of coffee? Looks like around 70 degrees Celsius, which should be hot enough to trigger our momentary switch, at least on paper. To find out for real, we can plug this end into our computer, the other into a cup, quickly navigate over to our local coffee shop to grab some beans for a fresh pot of coffee. If this works correctly, our PC can finally say, don't talk to me until I've had my first cup of coffee of the day. And as we pour its first cup, well, it spins to life just like that. <laughs> Although also like you and I, if this has too much coffee, it'll shut down. So let's cut it off. Oh man, I got my heart rate up. These even reality G2s are the first pair of smart glasses that I can legitimately see wearing every day. Information pops up when it's relevant. You can ask it specific questions. You can control it with this R1 ring, which is also really cool. And most important to me, there's no cameras like other smart glasses, making this far less invasive, but still very useful. If you're curious about these, I'll leave some additional information about them on my profile in case you want to check it out.